I don't know if it's just me, but I hate the modern way of life. It's very lonely, especially if you are working from home or you spend a lot of time in the digital space for whatever reason. The modern way of life is so lonely. And I think ironically, the reason for that is social media. Ironically, social media killed us. If you think about it, you know, most days, most people, they go to school or they go to work and then they come home and then they spend their time in the digital space. So either on social media or watching television, Netflix or some shit or playing video games. This is how most people spend their times nowadays, most young people, you know, after you come home from work. And social life has definitely taken a hit. I think social life in society as a young person is fucking dead. Your only options, at least mine, are fucking nightclubs and things like that. Degenerate shit, but I'm really not interested in that. When you go outside, everybody's fucking 40 years old. If you go outside during the day, it's really weird. So I really hate the modern lonely way of life. Unfortunately, the family, the community, it's dead. Like with your family, a hundred years ago, your family would have lived in like the same sort of vicinity in the same houses you know what i mean your family would have been close now it's just like everybody's somewhere else you, you can't visit your grandparents often because they're far away you probably live separate from your parents everybody lives in different locations nowadays because that's what's most convenient and even the family is sort of not together a lot of, you know, couples, most couples actually end up, most marriages actually end up in divorce. So the, the family, you know, the family unit has been weakened in modern society. We don't see our families as often. Whereas before, you would have to see your family so often that you'd be annoyed that you have to see your family all the time. But now family is just, it's just not that big of a thing in modern society. It's not valued that much. I value my family, but I barely see anybody. You know, I see my parents because I live with my parents. I see my grandparents because they're close, but that's it. Everybody else I see like twice a year or some shit. It's kind of annoying. And also the community is that, you know, before, if you had an interest before the digital world and you wanted to speak to somebody about the interest, you'd have to go find a club and there would be people congregating interested in that thing. But now if you're interested in something and you need to speak to somebody, you go to fucking Reddit, you know, self-improvement Reddit. I don't want to speak about self-improvement on Reddit, bro. Fucking losers, fucking crazy maniacs on Reddit. You know, you write something and then you have hate comments. Like, what kind of... Just social media interactions, it's it just not like real life. It feels completely unnatural. And I feel like we've replaced at least 50% of our social lives with just fucking social media. Which does not satisfy me at all. And another point is that this channel is mainly for men, men who are young, who are ambitious, who want to achieve something with their lives. If you're a man in 2024 and you want to, I don't know, get rich, make solid money, have a solid future, what's the best way to do that? Online, in the digital space, on social medias, again. But the problem with that is that 
I'm right now, I'm working really hard. I'm working on this channel. I want to turn this into a business. I want to create something like valuable for you guys. I want to make this into something special. So I'm working hard every day, uploading videos, spending my time creating products, learning, you know, reading. But all of that work, 11 to, 11 to 12 hours every single day I do. I'm grinding really hard. But all of that work is alone. I'm just sitting in my room right now creating a video. That's how my day, you know, starts and that's how it ends. I'm going to be creating a product in my room. I'm going to be learning and reading in my room. And you can say you, you can get out, but that's just inconvenient. I want to make maximum progress. It's just that maximum progress in 2024 20, looks like this. You're just sitting fucking, you know, looking at cameras, playing on your computer, clicking buttons all day. And that's how maximum progress, that's how grinding, that's how working hard looks like in 2024. It's super lonely, you know? And you can say, oh, cool, you can have a social life, bro. You're just coping. You can have a social life. It's not about that you can have a social life. It's just about that the modern lifestyle is completely unnatural. Sure, I can have a social life. Sure, I can spend Sundays... You know, I can rest on Sundays and have a social life. I can go out for two, three hours every day and have a social life. But the point is that the majority of your day, if you're actually trying to work hard as an entrepreneur, as a young man trying to succeed in, in this life, the, ma the majority of your day is spent just fucking in your room alone on a laptop grinding. And you know... You probably know about the importance of focus. So you don't want people distracting you, really. So that's how, you know, in 2024, the grind looks. The grind looks like you're fucking stuck in your room and it's completely unnatural. You know, we're not supposed to live this way. Yeah, even if I have a social life at the end of the day, it's at the end of the day. If I want to work hard and grind every day, I need to have no social life because that's just how it is in modern society. If we go back just a hundred years ago, let's say it's 1924. So it's a hundred years ago exactly. And I'm a young man, the same age, and I want to make it to the top of society. I want to grind as a man. I'm ambitious. Well, I probably, I don't know, I probably get a sales job. At that point, th there was no digital world. So you'd have to get a job in real life. You'd have to get a... I'd, I'd probably get a sales job and I would try to learn and get in contact with, you know, the higher ups and just move up the firm. That's how I would approach it if I was, you know, 100 years ago trying to reach the top of society, trying to make it. And... If I got a sales job a hundred years ago, all day would be spent talking to people. All day I would be with people. And yes, there are downsides to that as well, but it, it's better. It's more natural. If I was grinding a thousand years ago, I'd probably, I don't know, be a soldier in an army or some shit like that. And I'm not saying I, I want to kill people or I want to, uh, oh, I, I wish I was born a thousand years ago. No, I'm not saying that. That's bullshit, but... At least they were more social. At least they had, you know, their grind included being social. Whereas my grind now as a man, I, I'm grinding. You know, I'm working really hard. I'm not fucking resting. I'm not doing bad habits. That's bullshit. I'm working really, really hard every day. But my grind looks like just sitting in my room all day. You know, it's, it's not good it's not natural for my brain for my body it's we're not supposed to live this way the modern lifestyle is completely unnatural you know just thinking back to how people used to live before we had civilization and society when we were monkeys in a caves throwing you know mammoths and shit we used to live all day we used to be social 
all day would spend with our tribe, all day would be social. If you weren't in a tribe, you were pretty much fucking dead. So all day we were social. Then our grind would be just going with the brothers, with the boys, hunting, you know, gathering food, fighting the opposing tribe. That's how you spend your whole day. Your whole day you spend, you know, being social. And that's how we've evolved. We are social creatures. You spend your day outside, moving, being social. I wish you could do that in the modern day, but you can't. In the modern day, you have to be sedentary in a fucking dark room all day without speaking to anybody, just creating content on social media. And that's just, you know, unnatural. It, it feels terrible for me to do that. It ruins my mental health, quite honestly. But I have to get through it. I have to get through it every day. That's just the modern way of life. Just everybody sitting in their room in order to make it in the digital space. Because in the physical space, it's 10 times harder. So why would you do something that's 10 times harder? And when you spend your day all day in a dark room, creating content or grinding away, uh, trying to create a business, it, it, it kind of makes you feminine. Like even if you spend two, three hours a day at the end of the day, you know, being social, it's this safe lifestyle that's killing me, you know? It's killing me that I live a safe lifestyle, honestly. I wish there, there was some danger in my life or some shit, some excitement. Honestly, I really think that a thousand years ago, my life would be better, even though it would not be safer. Because this modern lifestyle just makes you feminine. All day you're sitting, your work is creative work, which is great. I like creative work. I'm really a fan of it. But all day you're just clicking on your computer, clicking away, grinding. But it kind of makes you feminine. Your testosterone probably, my testosterone probably has gone down. Yeah, I work out. That's cool, but... Honestly, it's not the same as if I was a soldier a thousand years ago. It's not the same as if I was, you know, making sales a hundred years ago. Because making sales, you would have to confront a lot of people, talk to a lot of people. That raises up your testosterone. There are risks. You can get rejected. But here, you know, everything happens quietly. If I get rejected, I, I get rejected by the fucking algorithm of YouTube. But there's no risk really for me. And the point of this video is just to say that I hate the modern way of life. We need to find ways as people to revive the community and to get off social media. I think as a society, we are spending way too much time in the digital space. One day, one day, I'm going to take all my work, all my fucking work outside of the digital space. I'm going to export everything digital. The only thing I'm going to do is gonna, I'm going to record videos like that and spend my time on camera. But everything else, I'm going to make it social. I'm going to make, you know, I'm going to have a team. I'm going to have people around me all day. Because honestly, this lifestyle is just not worth living where you're sitting at home all day. So the point of this video is, guys, go outside, don't spend your time on video games, don't spend your time watching Netflix, don't spend your time on social media, it, it just fucking ruins your mental health, it's not good, so unless you're like me and you're grinding away every day, go outside, go outside, be social, not enough people are doing that, society is kind of fucked, we need to stop using social media so much, we need to, you know, stop living our lives digitally, and we need to start actually living them physically because it's much better. Digital experience cannot replace, you know, real life experience. And it's only getting worse. Like Mark Zuckerberg is making this metaverse. So imagine how many, if, if people spend their time so much on social media and on Netflix and shit, how, how much will they spend their time in the metaverse? I don't want the fucking metaverse. I don't want to go home, put on a fucking headset and that's my social life. No, I want, I want a real social life. I want real social contact. Human touch. Look somebody in the eyes. I don't know. 
So I'm gonna grind away for the next years. I'm gonna fuck myself. It's just how it has to be as an ambitious man working on his purpose. But as soon as I can, I will make, you know, my work actually social, working with real people, impacting real people. And I know you are real watching this video, but it just doesn't feel the same. You know, I can't make the same impact if I'm on camera. But, and you might say, oh, you're coping. Why don't you go, you know, do something in physical life if you're, if you're complaining so much? Well, because the best way, as a man, I'm naturally ambitious. And the best way to progress in my life, the most ambitious way is through social media. It's just the best opportunity for, you know, someone who is nobody, who doesn't have money, is the best opportunity to make money. It's the cheapest option. It has the highest ceiling. But it comes with the cost of spending most of your day in your fucking room just grinding. And sometimes I wish it was otherwise. Yeah, thanks for watching. If you want me to coach you one-on-one, -on -one, check out the link in the description. If you feel lonely, if you don't like the modern way of life, you can join the Discord. It's still a social media, but yeah, at least we can chat or something. See, this is what I'm talking about. If you wanted to chat with somebody who's similar to you a hundred years ago, you, you would have to go outside. There's no other option. But now everybody's on Discord. Everybody's on social media. It's fucking bullshit. Yeah, thanks for watching. If you found value in this video, then join the movement. Become a purposeful man. And remember, if you don't achieve your purpose and grind away at the fucking laptop for 12 hours a day, then nobody will. Be ruthless.